Hey there fellow coders, welcome back to CodeGrid. Get ready to unleash your inner Picasso as we dive into today's tutorial on using canvas to create this epic paint stroke effect. No need for fancy brushes or messy paint. We'll be doing it all digitally with vanilla JavaScript. So grab your favorite coding beverage and let's brush up on our canvas skills. No time to waste, let's get artsy right away. Forget about the mundane markup stuff. We won't waste a second on that. All you need is a simple container and some text to make it pop. But wait, here comes the real star of the show, the canvas element. Give it an ID of draw. That's all there is to it. Now, let's give it a touch of style to make it sleek and clean. As per our usual routine, let's kick things off by banishing those pesky margins and paddings of every element. Setting the width and height to 100VW and 100VH respectively, we ensure the body fills up the entire viewport. Say goodbye to pesky scroll bars with overflow hidden. We'll be using the trendy new Montreal typeface to add a touch of modern elegance to our design. By positioning the canvas absolute, we ensure that it overlays the entire viewport, ready to capture our artistic strokes. The top and left properties are set to zero, aligning it perfectly at the top left corner. With the width and height set to 100VW and 100VH respectively again, offering us a vast creative playground. Our container takes the spotlight, positioned at the top with a Z-index of 1. With width and height set to 100%, it spans the entire viewport. We embrace the power of flex to effortlessly organize our columns. For our trusty paragraph element, we make sure it doesn't get in the way of our painting by setting pointer events now. To achieve a clean and polished look, we add some essential font properties. Our columns take center stage with a width of 50% and some cozy padding. Leveraging the power of Flexbox, we align the content within each column. With the styling complete, it's time to dive into the realm of JavaScript where the real magic happens. First, we need to select our canvas element from the HTML using Document Query Selector. This allows us to interact with the canvas. We also create a 2D rendering context using getContext, which provides the drawing functionality. To re-ensure that our canvas fills the entire viewport, we set its width and height to match the window dimensions using inner width and inner height. Next, we set some styling properties for our drawing. We choose a vibrant color for the stroke by setting stroke style. To give the stroke a smooth and rounded appearance, we set line join and line cap to round. Lastly, we define the line width to be 100 pixels using line width. Now, let's move on to the main logic of our drawing functionality. We define several variables to keep track of our drawing state. Is drawing is a Boolean flag that tells us whether we are currently drawing. The variables last x and last y store the coordinates of the previous point drawn, allowing us to create smooth lines. Hue keeps track of the hue value for dynamically changing stroke colors, and direction is a boolean flag that helps us control the hue incrementation. We then define a draw function which will be called whenever the user moves the mouse on the canvas. Inside the function, we first check if we are in drawing mode. If not, we return early and do nothing. Otherwise, we proceed with the drawing process. We dynamically set the stroke color using the hue value and the HSL color format. The hue changes as we draw, creating a beautiful gradient effect. We begin a new path using begin path and move to the previous coordinates using move to function. Then, we create a line from the previous coordinates to the current mouse position using line to function. Finally, we stroke the path using stroke, resulting in the actual drawing on the canvas. After drawing the current line, we update the last x and last y coordinates to the current mouse position. We increment the hue value to change the stroke color for the next stroke. If the hue reaches or exceeds 360, we reset it back to zero to keep the colors in a continuous loop. We also define a clear canvas function that simply clears the entire canvas using clear rec. This allows us to start with a clean canvas whenever needed. To enable drawing, we add event listeners to the canvas. When the user presses the mouse button, we set his drawing to true and store the initial mouse coordinates in last x and last y. As the mouse moves, the draw function is called continuously, creating a smooth drawing experience. 
When the user releases the mouse button or moves the cursor outside the canvas, we set is drawing to false and clear the canvas using clear canvas function to erase the stroke. And that's it.